Hello and welcome. I am Annette Reeder from the biblicalnutritionist.com and I get to share with you God's recipe for excellent health. And today it includes a cranberry date salad. I'm hoping to give you lots of options that you can serve during the holidays, whether it's Thanksgiving, whether it's Purim, whether it's Christmas, Hanukkah, Passover, whatever the holiday is, I wanna give you really good options that taste good and are easy to prepare and your family's going to love. Not only that, I like to include ingredients that are from the seven foods of the promised land. So I'm about to get started making this recipe, but before I do, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and the bell next to it. That lets us know that you like the content I'm giving you, and you get notified every time I post a new video. And I have so much I wanna share with you, but the main message is this. God loves you, I love you, yet His love is everlasting. And that's important for you to understand, because He has loved you from the moment of conception. That's how important you are to him. All right, are you ready to get started with this delicious, quick, easy, delicious, I said delicious, recipe? This is my cranberry date salad. So we're gonna start with 12 ounces of cranberries. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm using my small immersion blender. If you have a bigger food processor, that would be even better. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of mulch this up real quick. Now let me just stop and tell you, these are raw cranberries. These have not been cooked in any way. They weren't frozen, they were just fresh and raw, which you get in the grocery store pretty much in the fall season. Now because I'm using just a small food processor instead of my big one, I'm going to keep transferring this into my bowl and then kind of mixing from there. You may say, well, why not just use my big one? Well, because um, currently it's being fixed. I cook a lot and sometimes when I get in a hurry, I drop things and then they break. Okay, to this I'm adding a cup and a half of chopped dill. My goal is to make it as gummy as possible. Then I know my dates are really mixing up well. And we are getting there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add back a little bit of my cranberries that are still needing to be mulched up just a little bit more. Like I said, if you had a, a bigger food processor, this would go much quicker for you. But you know, it's always good to know how to improvise. When it takes a little while to do something like that, I just I just gotta tell you where my mind just went. It went to praying for a family that just lost their mom. And the reason it hits me hard is because I went, to, I went to Sunday school with her. I went to church with her when I was in the youth group. And I was just totally shocked last week. And so when you're doing something that's kind of mindless, like just waiting for your food processor to finish, it's really a good time to just Add in those sentence prayers for different people that come to mind while you're cooking. I, I just really believe that when we cook from scratch and in our own kitchen, we have so much more time to be mindful of people in our lives and to pray for them. Just so you know, right now I'm praying for all of you that are watching this video. And I'm just really praying that God touches your heart. Now you may say, what else did I just add? Well, I added some chopped pineapple. 
So my recipe calls for a cup and a half of chopped pineapple. You could use a fresh pineapple, or if you have to, you can even use canned pineapple. So let me go ahead and continue mixing this up. I may have it just a little bit too full. There we go. Now it's time to blend even more ingredients together. We have our cranberries, our dates, and our chopped pineapple. This in the bowl. To this we're going to add eight ounces of yogurt. Now mind you, we would let this chill first. And then right before we're getting ready to serve it, we would take it out of the refrigerator. We would add in eight ounces of yogurt and one cup of chopped nuts. Now my favorite, if you've been watching me very long, is always going to be pecan. But let me ask you, what is your favorite nut? So add in one cup of chopped nuts. You would then just stir this all up and you're gonna have a beautiful pink flavor. You're gonna have a beautiful pink color. It serves a beautiful dish on the table, but more importantly, it tastes delicious. We've added in one of the seven foods from the Promised Land. We've added in yogurt, which is gonna give us a good protein boost. And once we chill this, oh my, this is just such a delicious dish. So we will just serve this up. My pineapple had a lot of juice in it, which contributed to the more liquid state that this is in. Otherwise, if your pineapple is not quite as juicy, it will be a little bit less. But there we have it, the cranberry date salad. And this is delicious. I can't wait to turn this video off so I can start eating it tonight to serve it to my family. So remember, when we serve our family foods, like this, where we take the original food and we mix it together with all of the goodness that God's given us. And we serve our family at the table, but don't forget we also get to pray for them while we're blending things up. It's just an opportunity to see God at work in our family. And that's, that's why we're here. We're here to serve our family the healthiest foods possible, serve them God's goodness, and always remember to teach them. This is one of the seven foods of the Promised Land, which is about God's promises, His provision, and His grace. And he loves you as much today as he did from the moment of conception, from the moment you were born. God has a plan for you. I'm Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com, and I am here to always continue serving you God's recipe for excellent health. Be sure and give it a thumbs up, and let me know how much you like this video.